Melanie Beckler here. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top five signs that you are an earth angel. So what is an earth angel? An earth angel is essentially a higher density soul, a higher vibrational being who has chosen to incarnate into 3D physical reality in order to be of service in order to accomplish a mission and in order to create change and be a part of this group of souls who have all incarnated in the here and now to together as one assist through love and service in elevating the vibration of the collective consciousness of humanity and bringing about a new paradigm of greater love and peace and harmony on earth. So how do you know if you are an earth angel? Here are the top five signs. Number one, you've always felt that you are here for something bigger. You feel like you have a purpose, a mission, even if you don't yet know what that is. And the reason for this is because earth angels, higher density beings, all come to physical reality with a purpose, with a mission. We do all pass through the veil of illusion, the veil of forgetfulness to be here. So that's why it may be hazy as to what the specifics of your mission are, but that underlying feeling, that sense, that knowing that you are here for a reason, that tends to stay. That tends to wake up first so that you embark on the path of seeking and learning and entering in to remember and discover why you're here so that you can step into your role as an awakened earth angel, being of service in the highest interest of all. And the second sign that really goes along with this is that you are able to see the challenges, struggles, atrocities, hardships facing humanity, facing the planet happening on the earth. You see beyond the veil of illusion in a way. You see beyond the glamour to witness the underbelly, to witness the struggle, to witness the duality so that you can recognize the areas where you can create positive change, where you can way show and show a new way, where you can be of service in order to usher in the new paradigm. So there's a natural ability to witness the challenges and the struggle and the opportunity is to retain a state of neutrality so that you're able to witness the challenge but not get emotionally and vibrationally weighed down by it. You're able to enter into the matrix in order to transform it. The third sign that you are an earth angel is that you're sensitive. And really this is sensitivity on all levels. As spiritual beings in physical form, when we open to our higher light in spirit, there's a natural sensitivity that occurs. So as a higher dimensional being incarnating into physical form, much of that sensitivity remains even after passing through the veil of illusion. So as a child, many earth angels are very sensitive to busy places, even to foods and toxins, to substances, as well as being sensitive to the hardships and challenges in the world and the struggles that others are going through. This sensitivity, while before awakening, may seem like a curse. After awakening and claiming your power, learning to set healthy boundaries and learning to gain mastery over your energy, becomes an incredible gift because that sensitivity is the open doorway for higher spiritual connection, for authentic experience of the higher realms. And again, it's like a precursor for really being able to create positive change in 3D in the physical because you have an understanding. At a very deep level, you're very sensitive to the challenges and so you're able to be a part of the transformative solution. The fourth sign you are an earth angel is that you're connected to a higher power. You're connected to the higher light and guidance of spirit. It may not be totally conscious, 
but somewhere deep down, you have a knowing that we're not alone, that there is higher guidance, higher intelligence, support available in the realms of spirit. Earth angels also tend to have an affinity for angels. You may have had an angelic or spiritual experience, an angelic encounter, or you just know and sense at the core of your being that you are guided, supported, and loved by the angels. And finally, the fifth sign that you are an earth angel is a feeling of not belonging, a feeling of not fitting in, a feeling of being different. And this honestly at times can feel like being a bit of an alien, like the entire collective conscious is just happy going along doing this thing, but you realize there is another way. And so this is both a sign of an earth angel and also a beautiful and powerful thing. And while I think for most earth angels, this is very much a challenge, especially growing up, going to school and not fitting in, really just feeling like an outcast in society, this often brings about a longing of wanting to go home, of wanting to return to spirit, to leave this 3D physical world and venture back in to the infinite fields of love and the higher dimensions of peace and light and truth. But I can assure you that when you wake up to your mission and when you claim your power, there are so many beautiful gifts and opportunities and potentials within physical reality for you to thrive, for you to learn. And when you step into alignment with your mission and making a difference in the world in the highest interest of all through being of service towards others in a way that you love and enjoy because that is what your true purpose is, life takes on a magical, beautiful quality and you are able to thrive within physical form. You may still feel like you don't fit in. I certainly have that feeling still at times, but it's not painful because you know that you're not meant to fit in. You're not meant to be a cog in the wheel. You are meant to help bring about positive change and transformation. So that is why you have that feeling of not belonging. So rather than trying to push it away or mood alter or numb it, embrace it. Embrace that you are different because you are here to show a different way, to live in harmony with the earth, to live in peace and love with one another, to live with vibrant well-being and radiant joy. So how do you do that? What are you curious about? What are you excited about? What is one little thing you could do that would bring value to the lives of others? that would bring value to humanity and to the collective consciousness, start asking yourself, how could I be of service? How can I bring value to the lives of others? Because that is the direct route to aligning with your earth angel mission, your purpose for being here. And really, that service opens the door for you to embody more of your most vibrant well-being and your highest vibrational life. Being an earth angel doesn't mean perfection. We are still human beings. We still have challenges, healing, struggles, opportunities for growth, and lessons to learn. But throughout that all, there is the overarching mission to be of service, to create positive change, and to show the way to live with greater light, harmony, joy, and love. So those are the five signs. You may be an earth angel. Comment below and let me know how many of these you resonate with, how many of these you feel you have. Do you feel you might be an earth angel? You don't have to have all of them to be an earth angel. And I guess a really major final sign of being an earth angel is that you feel you are. You resonate with the idea and you are excited to step in to more of your truth as an earth angel here to make a difference in the lives of others and in the world. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to learn more about earth angels, please let me know. As always, I truly appreciate when you take the time to give this video a thumbs up, to comment below, and if you haven't already, subscribe here on YouTube, and then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.